Now, let's see. Is Alex going to join on or is he going to not join on? That is the big question here. I sent him the live. I sent him the request. I sent him again. Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. Alex G. Yeah, yeah, I can do those dances too, Alex. I can do the dancing with the middle fingers and everything. Hey, did you just have a uh, fucking 600-pound gorilla with you on, on live? That's what I thought I saw. Nonetheless, g Dog, it's been a minute. I've been wanting to get some words out towards you for a long time, but being the star that I am, being the busy man that I am, putting in countless hours of work for the craft that I've been doing for nearly 20 years now. I just haven't had the time to talk to some punk, pimple, face, pencil neck geek. But here I am. I have a couple of minutes. You know, I got, um, I got some things I got to take care of here in a second. But um, anyway, what can I do for you, G-Dog? You, you run your mouth a lot. You, you talk a lot with marks such as, uh, who's this? Puro Loco. Nobody knows who Puro Loco is unless they're talking about ESW season freaking four, okay? Yeah, when he's I that guy. He you made short work him. of him and embarrassed him and he vomited all over our ring. Other than that, no one knows who he is. But my point being is you talk about Alex G when I'm not around and here I am and looks like cat's got your tongue. The cat's got my tongue. That is right. It looks like you finally grew some balls. But anyway, you say yourself, you, you know, you call yourself a star and anything. Like I said, where's and the belt? Didn't Osiris take it back at WrestleFest? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't a star have all the gold? Wouldn't last star... I check, last I check, if you go back to the video, my shoulders were like floating above fluorescent light bulbs. I mean, did you see light fixtures out in the backyard? Why are light bulbs even in the backyard for one? But second of all, last I checked, my shoulders were not down. Go back. It's in the video. The evidence is in the video. Who is Pro Loco? Tell them to shut the hell up. Second off, my shoulders weren't down, g Dog. So I've already submitted things to the city. I've already submitted things to the property manager. I've already submitted things to Lynn, who's still laying in a hospital. I've already submitted things to my brother. Hey, my shoulders weren't down. As far as I'm concerned, I am still your world's heavyweight champion. Okay, well, if Lynn actually listens to you, then uh, holly fuck. And there's a guy named Juan Molina. I'm sorry to keep cutting you off. There's a guy named Juan Molina on right now. And trust me, Alex G., there's always a big one when you're talking about that. And I'm not talking about pro stomach. I'm talking about, well, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, G-Dog, what? I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try to interrupt. Uh, pro, I don't have rematches, brother. I only have matches with stars now. And I can assure you, I'm talking about a wrestling star, not the person that is the size of an actual star. So, no, you will not be wrestling Alex G anytime soon. Okay, G-Dog, I promise I'm going to let you talk. What, what, what were you saying? All right, well, I was going to say, you want to say all this stuff, saying, oh, you've already talked about Al Austin, your brother, that your shoulders were you're not, you know, fully down. They were fully up. You know, that's that's to all the ESW producers to talk about. But if we're, if we're going back to your brother here, then uh, why weren't you there for his wedding again? Did you really think Osiris was more important than your brother's wedding? So if anything, Cody Rex could have easily not been there had you just looked out for the damn area and now... Well, you know, Cody Rex, he physically assaulted another woman's. No. Well, I think that Austin took care of that himself, did he not? Live at WrestleFest, the third match of the card. Did you not see? Did. You have to go back and watch it again. I mean, so we're almost at 4,000 views, you know. And, you know, YouTube counts views such differently than Facebook. You know, Puro wants to get all happy when he gets 500 views. You know, if you just refresh on Facebook, it just counts view, 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 view. In the States... On YouTube, you have to watch 80% of the video. That means that people aren't just refreshing to count, to count views for ESW. These people are actually watching our content, all right? They're not sitting on the toilet for five minutes watching some shitty backyard wrestling on Facebook Watch, all right? Terrible filming in the rain, just awful, not selling, not even wrestling correctly. It's goddamn embarrassment. In fact, it makes me embarrassed to call myself a wrestler. So people like Pro Logo should just never wrestle again. Oh, oh, Second oh. of all... <laughs> Um, look, Austin G took care of business. That's why I left Austin G's office the way I did in episode seven. I said, hey, Austin, you got the or episode eight, I should say, you got this, you can handle it. We're done because you can handle business yourself. 
did 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 Maddie have maid of honors? No. Did did Austin have a best man? No. What do you what do you what do you need? What do you need it for? Why 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 was I needed to be there? All right. I was I was I was I was getting ready for a main event. Well, I mean, he was your he was he's your goddamn brother. You think you know? I if I had a fucking <clears> brother, <throat> I would have him as my best man at a wedding. Like, why would you openly? Like, he didn't even like ask you for it. You, you, Oh no, uh, uh, G, G Dog. I'm sorry. I, I hear you loud and clear, but it's so funny to see that nobody knows who the hell Puro is. Nobody knows what a UTW is or whatever he calls it. I mean, we're all just laughing at you, Puro. You should look at our group chat. We laugh at you. We laugh at you daily. We we literally, our our Facebook group picture is your face, and it reminds us every day of what not to be. You know, as long as we look in the mirror. And we don't see that face. It's a good day. But anyway, G Dog, back to you. You know, where you are you from? Connecticut, about... New York. I don't even know what goes up over there in New York. Brothers kissing brothers, whatever's going on up there. But here's what happens in Somerset, Texas. Here's what happens in South Texas. We don't mess around. If we have something to say to our brothers, we say it to their face, and that's it. So I went up to Austin like a man, and said, "We're done. Good luck." And you know what? I think that that sparked a fire in Austin because last I checked, once again, he won that match. Am I wrong, G Dog? Am I wrong? No, yeah, no, he won that match, and then Jake Jordan had to be the little piece of shit he is kicking. That's a different story. Ball. But my point being, one, two, three, Austin G. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, okay, why don't we go back to what you were saying before about you know Facebook wrestlers? You know, you say that they don't know how to sell a move. Oh, boy, can I pull up a big story about you. At least you can say, oh, I'm not physically fit to be in the ring as a competitor. But, hey, at least I wouldn't be able to be slammed down on my face and then just start doing the Macarena dance like it's some sort of fucking joke. Maybe, maybe not. See, I was, I was a little dazed when I, when I did that. But, but see, let's, let's do this. You're talking about it. Others have talked about it. It went around my, my work office like the plague. Everyone was talking about Alex G doing the Macarena. You know what that means? That means people were talking about me. That means I am a star. I don't care why they're talking about me. I care that they are talking about me. And once, once people understand that fact about wrestling, it's going to come a lot easier to those trying to do that. Ain't that right, Puro? Put the burger down. We got stars talking here. Well, we got one star talking here. But anyway. Oh, no. no actually, I think you mean to get a correction there. That's future star. Because I do future plan to be a star. part of VSW. If you keep your diet up, you're going to look just like a star. I know. And I mean an actual one in the sky. My point being, G-Dog, is we're ready for you whenever you're down. Come down to Lubbock, Texas. Yeah, that mean, you mean come up, you fucking moron. You see what I'm saying here? There's a bunch of marks in here because Alex G's on, you know, they see that I'm on live, so they gotta tune in. Look at your view count. Look at your view count. People constantly are joining because I'm on here, because yeah. I am a star. With no belt, no women, no drugs. Well, I guess that the drugs, the women, the, the drinks, those are the different story. But I mean, like, you know, what again, would a star lose the championship? And you can make any excuse you want. About Rock lost the championship. Not being Cold lost the championship. Everyone, every star that you know has lost the championship. So, yes, uh, stars lose the championship. g Dog, here's the deal, because I got to wrap this up pretty soon. I have created... I have, how should I say this? I want to get, I want to say this to where even people in West Texas will understand, because let's be honest with you, the IQ over there is not very high. So you got to talk really slow so they understand. Um, I revolutionized backyard wrestling. I revolutionized it. All right. I was after the Attitude Era. It was debt. And then I brought it back to life. And when you look it up, you, you see me. Look Alex G up, you see back at wrestling, you look up back at wrestling, you see Alex G. And G Dog, if you want to be a part of that in any aspect other than just a good little fan that you are, you're gonna have to face the roadblocks that are Alex G, Blake Pierce, Cody Rex, Austin G. These guys that are just hard hitting, non stopping, all right? Short stack hasn't stopped right? 
Think about the doctor. Hell, I throw Cyrus in there. I mean, these guys are still going. Can you handle guys like? Can, can you, can you compete with the likes of those men? Well, well, let's be honest. Competing and winning are two different things. Winning, there's. You know, can you compete in a match lose, against but competing the is definitely something and that have I a can't good do. match? That's the big difference. Well, well, regardless. You know, you made all these comments saying that, oh, I'm not physically trained. I actually am training. I know. First of all, what if I said you're not physically fit? I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about that gorilla I saw that you had live here earlier. G Dog, you want Alex G? You want Austin? Well, I can't speak for Austin G, but you want me in the match? Let's look up the distance between your house and mine. How about we do that before we go to bed, huh? Because I know you have school tomorrow. I'm sure your dad's going to wake you up, what, 6 a.m. for school breakfast in school? Okay. Well, first of all, uh, high school graduates, so no more school. Oh, great. All. Great. Well, hey, you know what? Better late than never. How old are you? 24, 25? Let's see. What's your uh, – you don't have to give me your physical address. I wouldn't want you to do that. Give me, um, give me your city and state. City, state. Wallingford, Connecticut. And by the way, Jake Matthews ever joined on here to say, oh, well, there's something wrong with Connecticut. Hey, at least we were ranked higher than Massive Two Shits. So. All right. So. I'll let you take a guess. How, how long do you think it takes for you to get to me or vice versa? Only, uh, <laughs> only 1,861 miles. So if you ever decide to travel 1,861 miles, G-Dog, you and I will have match of the year. I, you, you'll, you'll do a lot better than Puro. I promise you that much. I mean, dude, we planned a five-minute match. He was barfing in two. And literally – the entire thing was just him holding my hand and me selling it like it was the worst thing ever. Oh, my God, my hand. Yeah, it oh, hurts. So bad. That's what got him tired, holding my hand. I mean, think about that. Holy shit. All right. Anyway, 1,861 miles. You ready for that travel? I can be ready any time. I think I am not complete with life but i think that i have no more roadblocks in my way and when that is done i'm gonna be down there okay well i'm gonna book it then sometime i'll be realistic i'll give you a little time i'll book it for 2022 uh alex g g dog in a match of the lifetime let me let me get my pen and pad out you know, you know, I don't know, you, you, you don't run the show anymore, but while you're at it, maybe you put like a little side list of, you know, maybe G-Dog versus Mark Myers because, you know, I, I can kick him in the face as well. Alex G versus Mark Myers. This is the most views you've ever had, and let's be honest, it's because I'm on. All right, G-Dog versus Alex and, holy shit, and G-Dog versus Mark Myers. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. 2021. You'll have tw a 12 months, 12 calendar months to make that happen, G Dog. Okay. Hey, Jack Delta, I'm ready to talk anytime you're ready, buddy. Anytime you want to make your ESW debut before October, let's be honest, it might have to be a little after October, but who needs to know when the matches were taped, huh? Jack Delta and ESW. I like the sound of that. In fact, Jack, Blake Pierce said he, he doesn't like you very much. And he said that he wanted first dibs on Jack Delta. Hey, anytime you want to get yourself even more famous, because there are some people that know about Jack, all right? This ain't UTW here. We're talking about a guy who's been around in a good way, G-Dog, all right? And uh, Jack Delta and ESW, I think that sounds great. Jack Delta, Blake Pierce in a match. Maybe if I'm not having to deal with people barfing in my ring, maybe Alex G. Jack Delta. Maybe. Huh? Huh? What do you think, G Dog? Jack Delta and ESW? 
Uh, I'd say Jack Del Tibius W could be something. Could be something. What? Will be something. Could Will be. be something. Are you hearing Can this, Can be Jack? something. Just like Jack. Me. Jack, you hearing this? I know you're here. Ugh. Could be something. Guys, let's watch Puro Puke. Let's do it. I mean, what, are we all, what else are we doing? Okay. Let's watch it. I got the footage. I, I, I have everything. I have footage from 2005 till now. I mean, I, I have everything. Everything's at the flick of a wrist, guys. Everything's at the snap of a finger. I mean, I, I have all the footage in the history of this show, um, including uh, when people barf in my ring. So let's, uh, let's get to that right now. Okay. This is our... Uh, this is our intermission. So here he is. <laughs> Let's see. He's literally holding my hand. This is this is the first 30 seconds of the match, guys. This is what got him tired. This is what got him tired. All right? So then, so he's grabbing the chain, and I'm supposed to duck it and attempt an altercation. But he's too big, so it hurts my back. Oh, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. And I turn around, he's supposed to clothesline me. Again, we're two minutes into the match. Two minutes into the match, guys. Pearl Loco. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. Sounds like a plan to me, Alex. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to the element through a periodic table. I don't know what that means. I think, I think Puro has, has made you drop some IQ points. Check your spelling. Make sure it's not on West Texas mode. But, uh, um, yeah, I understand what you're saying. You want Blake Pierce. You want a match. You got it. G-Dog, got your tongue? What's up, man? Why am I doing all the talking? Well, because, you know, how rude would it be of me to let, you know, the top guy, Alex G, the, you know, the corporate suit wearing guy who wears long sleeve in the middle of summer, in the middle of Texas of all places. Great. $100 shirt. $100 shirt. Of course. Yeah, it's the price of the shirt that matters. Yeah. Well, you know, like I said, I will be there. Maybe not as soon as possible, but it will happen. g Dog. We appreciate your 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 uh, your support. In all honesty, we do. We we love the fan made recaps. We appreciate it. But there comes a time when you create a platform such as this, and you guys and you have Puro who who tells somebody, "Bro, come up with new." I don't even know what that means. Bro, come up with new. Do you not know how to type? And all these West Texas guys blame it on autocorrect. I have autocorrect. That doesn't happen to me. But anyway, my point being, and 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 you can tell Brad, you can tell Brad that um, okay, so bring him into this Bradley thing. Ralph. Yeah, tell him I'm ready for him too. Anytime he wants to get off of uh, uh, video games and, and wrestling on video games, tell him Alex G is ready for a match, an actual one, not on WWE 2K right. or whatever. All right, I'll be sure to tell him that. Maybe he's here on the live. Maybe he already heard it, but I will definitely tell him that. Hey, g Dog. one last thing. All these guys are not here to, to uh, discourage you. They're all here to support you. When oh, they say pay your dues, they mean it because they want you to see it. When they say learn how to wrestle, well, when you come to SW, we're going to teach you how to wrestle, at least yeah. our style. When all these guys, plus these guys aren't talking about you. They're talking about that gorilla we saw earlier. My point being, ladies and gentlemen, as I sign off to go to bed, I appreciate all of your support. ESW WrestleFest 2021. What a, what a joy that was. What an event. Go back and watch it. G-Dog, you do some narration in the beginning. I don't think people know that. You're the one that says, and now the granddaddy of them all, WrestleFest right after the opening package. So thank you, G-Dog, for that. Alex is out. All right. G-Dog, me and you are going to have a conversation right now in private. I'm going to message you. Forget right. these guys. You ready. guys are all marks. I'm not. I'm Alex G. Fuck off. <laughs> well, what do you know? Alex G 
finally grew some fucking balls.